Assembly elections by the Independent National Electoral Commission has put all business and personal activities in Lagos to a halt. The electorate say the development come, uh, came as a shock to them. TVC News Olawa visited some areas in the state. This is Falomo Roundabout in Lagos. It is usually bustling with vehicular and business activities, but not today. The postponement of the general election by INEC has led to the desertion of all busy roads and some young people have taken to the streets to play football. This youth here form part of the 6.5 million accredited voters in Lagos State that were meant to be at their various polling units exercising their franchise by casting their ballots for their preferred candidates. But the postponement of the election by INEC has given them the opportunity to come together and play football. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not happy with the postponement, seriously, because it really, it really disturbed things we are doing. We are sport lovers, you know, we love football, and we thought of a way to like calm our nerves, because we know that next week that they have postponed the election to, we're going to cast our votes, and the winner will be declared. It can't stop me. So far there is another holiday for the election. They are still going to come out as a good citizen of the country. To come out and put my rights as an exercise. It is the same at the third mainland bridge, which is usually busy, but is now free of vehicular movements. TVC News crew moved to Ikosi area of Lagos, where we came across this man who tells us how the postponement has affected him. I left my office yesterday around after five to go and uh, stay in a hotel in Ajeromi in order to vote this morning. Unfortunately, very late in the night, a friend of mine called me that the, the election had been postponed. I was highly disappointed. We have to improve upon what they claim to be the main reason of postponing this election today. So that this new day that I'm mentioning, they won't come up to tell us that, oh, this or that happened. This lady came to Lagos from Ibadan to supervise the election as an INEC ad hoc staff, but declined to speak on camera. She is disappointed not only at the cancellation, but also about the difficulty in getting a bus back to Ibadan. As Nigerians wait for the new dates, as announced by INEC, they want the Independent National Electoral Commission to dot the I's and cross the T's so as to be able to conduct a peaceful, free and fair election. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.